Hello, welcome to Animes. Another weekly roundup of Amiami figure pre-orders. This is from the 5th of August to the 10th of August, 2024. Uh, quite a lot of figures to look at today, as you can see on the tabs. Um, links for these figures will be in the description down below. Apart from the figures that are in the adult section of uh, Amiami, uh, those are, again will be like last video towards the end of the video. Um, so you can skip by to that if you prefer to just watch, uh, look for the not safe for work figures. But if you want to get a rundown of at least all the figures that are out this week, then uh, please uh, enjoy. Hopefully, um, I will try and minimize commentary on some of the more less interesting figures and just raise that they're out and what price they're out for, um, just to speed up the runtime at least of this video. Um, uh, if you can comment, like, and subscribe, that'll be uh, help me out wonderfully, and uh, shows that obviously you got everyone enjoys what I'm doing, um, and at least that uh, what I'm doing is uh, helping people to monitor, you know, figure out what figures are coming out uh, release-wise, and keep it on top of the the release releases that are coming out every week. Uh, so we'll get straight on to the figures. Starting off with uh, False Lander, Ronin 1 7th. Uh, this is a uh, update, image update, really. So I think it's just to show that the uh, some they've redone some of the promo shots and whatnot of this one. So apart from that, like previous stated, uh, when we looked at this figure, this is a very good looking figure. Um, I love the False Lander um, series. Uh, so False Lander Ronin, this is a very nice looking figure by Kalakawa, coming out in February 2025 for 21,780 yen. Uh, there is a uh, sort of more expensive versions which come with uh, extra bits and pieces. Uh, one of them is like 44,000 yen. Um, it looks like it just comes with like a uh, deluxe uh, framed image. Uh, probably wouldn't pay the 20,000 yen for that. Um, I'd rather just get the basic figure. And the figure looks really good overall anyways. Um, Zenless Zone Zero and the Damara 1 7th by Apex. 22,000 yen, July 2025. Uh, pretty nice looking figure, uh, not on a standard base. Uh, looks like she comes with uh, no, no extra face plates in this one, but the overall design I like uh, quite a lot. Uh, not familiar with this IP though, maybe it's some sort of gacha game. Uh, <laughs> figure Lady Deadpool by Hot Toys, 41,850 yen. This is a 1/6th scale. Uh, December 2024 is actually coming out pretty soon. Uh, a lot with, like with a lot of the other hot toys, um, they you do get some alternative arm options, obviously. Um, uh, but the detailing in the suit is going to be impeccable um, overall. And oh, you get the little Deadpool uh, helicopter skull. That's uh, quite. If you've seen the movie, definitely worth watching. I think. Um, yeah, it looks like she. I don't know if these if she's just posable. Uh, main figure alternative eye parts, alternative hand parts, time to 10. So it looks like it's just different uh, joints and whatnot, which allow her to go to these different positions. Um, the seams seem very well hidden if they are doing it that way. Um, I don't think she's a posable figure. Uh, you would really see the fi uh, seams of that most likely. But yeah, uh, single shipment though, so you won't be able to ship this uh, with a combined shipment. But very good looking figure overall. And I think uh, if you're into hot toys, Definitely potentially worth getting a hold of if you're big into your Marvel uh, IPs. Uh, Absent Minded, uh, Jake Hina Ochi, another color. So this is a standard uh, color version. So this is uh, they've got a there's a tan version which we'll look at in a sec. Twenty three thousand four hundred yen, April twenty twenty five. So this is uh, your typical sort of Gyoru, uh figure um, character. Uh, comes with a purple head piece as well, non cast offable. Which I think, obviously, based on her proportions, you probably would presume she is cast offable, but still very alluring figure with a very short skirt. So obviously, not, not leaving a lot to the imagination, I suppose you could say. Um, overall, so uh, yeah, not a bad looking figure, I think, by Harvey Sakura. Um, but you definitely, they know their clientele with this figure. And there is a tan version as well for the people who like tanned uh, uh, figures, uh, tanned waifus. And it looks like they do the tan lines very well with this one as well. Uh, especially in the leg crease here, the tans lines they've paid, definitely paid good attention to overall. Same price as the standard as the other one. Uh, Oshinoko, we've got I, Aqua, and Ruby, 1 7th by Shibuya Scum for 30,250 yen, uh, June 2025. Um, obviously we've got quite a few eye figures, um, but this is probably this is the first one you get all three bundled together that I've seen, and I think this is worth it potentially, uh, especially to get uh, Aqua and Ruby as well with this. 
um, and their baby form on their child forms. Uh, very uh, iconic scene from the anime. Uh, so definitely worth getting hold of. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people like to get this one. And I should be a scramble are pretty good with their paint jobs. Uh, Date Alive for Toka Yatagumi. Uh, Princess Amethyst dress version, 1 7th by Shibuya Scramble. Uh, 41,800 yen uh, by, for June 2025. Uh, very good looking figure. Very typical of Shibuya Scramble doing the, you know, a massive amount of effect parts. Uh, the painting looks really good. Effect parts look, I like the blend with the blues and pinks. A uh, very nice looking figure, especially if you like Day Alive. I'm hoping they do a uh, Kurusu, uh, Kurumi figure um, of uh, in as well. I don't know. If, I don't think I've covered one before. If they have, um, but I'd have to check that up on the MFC potentially. But yeah, this looks really good. Is expensive, but should be a scramble. Is they're the luxury uh, brand of figures uh, producers, so they always go over the top. Uh, B style Street Fighter Six Chun Li bunny version by Freeing for thirty eight thousand five hundred yen. Uh, March 2025 release. Uh, this one, I think, is uh, a lot of people have I've seen on Reddit have said about um, you know the leaning is going to be a problem potentially. Uh, I think when you see from the side angle here, yeah, they, she could lean quite a lot, but I think Freeing have done a pretty good solid job with uh, reinforcements internally, and those thighs definitely are thick enough to have extra reinforcement to uh, stop that. Um, you don't see a metal rod in the base here, but this is the uh, promo mod promos uh, images so they will be they always use clear uh, bases for these normally uh, so yeah it's like this here this angle here it's a very unique design obviously taking the Chun Li um, putting her in a bodysuit and having her in this position um, I don't know whether whether I will be purchasing this one I I would like to get it um, but I don't think not for 38,500 yen um, I think a lot of people yeah a bit iffy with the thighs and whatnot i do but uh, it depends i think it's personal taste it's a very unique obviously uh suit bunny suit and uh your very unique pose obviously as well from your typical freeing figure so it's got that going for it over a lot of the other bunny suit one uh freeing figures uh poet parade toradora tiger aisaki uh good smile art shanghai 4320 yen april 2025 uh, not much to cover here. It's just uh, Toradora. Uh, Dolphin Wave, Uruka Sakimia, 1 7th by Kaitendo, 33,460 yen, April 2025. Uh, this one paint job looks really good. Like the design. Um, love the, uh, back the way they've done the base as well. That she's straddling a saddle. Uh, very good looking figure. I think overall, pretty, relatively simple in overall effort and design. But um, I definitely, obviously, the curves are well <laughs> endowed. Um, and the skin tones, uh, look, skin shade looks really good overall. So very good looking figure. Maybe not 33,000 yen though. That might be a bit, maybe a bit more on the expensive side for 1 7th. Uh, Figma, Delicious and Dungeon, Marcel by Max Factory for 12,000 yen. Uh, May 2025. Looks like it comes with the sort of accessories you expect to reenact the scenes, at least from Delicious and Dungeon. Um, as you can see here, a couple of face plates as well. Um, yeah, good looking uh, Figma. Um, so there's a spread out shot of the actual accessories. Um, yep, yeah, looks good, I think, for Figma. I don't cover Figmas that often, but um, I think when it comes to the more uh, well received uh, and hyped anime, then it is worth covering them. Um, this one I think a lot of people are liking as well Isekai Karakito Siru Shoujo Rabi. Quarter scale by Max Q for 12,800 yen, April 2025 release. Uh, this is a very, very nice looking quarter scale, uh, cheaper quarter scale as well. Uh, bunny suit uh, or B uh, bunny figure, um, which also comes with a uh, uh, pubic hair uh, sticker that you can put on the, uh, down here. So, which a lot of people are thinking it potentially implies that it's cast off, but it doesn't mention it's cast off anywhere. So I don't think this is going to be a cast off figure, um, but she, the hair looks really good. Paint job looks really well done. There's texturing on the shorts, uh, the shirt, the fold, cre the molding on the shirt looks really well done. Obviously you get a lot of under boob going on here and then body sculpt looks amazing. So I can definitely see why a lot of people, and it's an elf, 
Um, so I can definitely see why a lot of people have, have been pre-ordering this one. I'm very tempted to pre-order this as well myself. And then get it in and at least do a video on that one. Uh, Goddess of Victory, Neke Rupi, 1 7th by Hobby Sakura. 25,080 yen, February 2025. Um, this one's just a very nice, clean painted figure. I uh, love the uh, character overall. Uh, it kind of looks like a 3D render rather than an actual... Um, uh, photo but i think it's just uh, they've done a very clean uh design um as you can see you get a bit of uh arse here um but yeah very good looking figure i think a lot of people who like nikkei uh will potentially be wanting to get this one um very uh, yeah very nice looking figure uh, i think definitely worth the price uh, by hobby sakura they're doing a very good job with this one uh excellent model uh radix series uh neo ga neo mobile suit gundam sailor mass by mega house 14,960 yen uh probably very similar to a Koda Pagia in terms of quality and pricing it looks like um which i'm quite happy for for mega house to do this uh, at least we get some more uh more obscure ips uh you know with the mobile suit gundam series as well we're seeing a lot more of the mobile suit gundam series figures getting released for those uh melty princess my dress up darling palm sized man katakawa by mega house for 6980 yen as it st uh, states in the title it's palm size so it's non-scale um she's gonna be pretty small uh sort of prize figure quality as well i think but if you want to get marin or if you're one of those people that wants to collect every marin figure um, then I thought I'd at least include it. Looks pretty fine overall, and for the price, it's not too bad. Um, although this might even, uh, you know, go a bit lower once uh, released. That's December 2024. Uh, this one actually took me off uh, by uh, surprise. Tamias Draco uh, Beltrix Feminia 1 7th by DCTER uh, for 24,770 yen, November 2024. Um, I just like the overall design in this one. The solid crystal looks really good. Um, it's just a very nice, simple, well, not simple, but it's a very nice looking design. Um, I'm not familiar with um, this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, from a game. Um, but yeah, no, the overall uh, style and uh, paint quality going on this figure looks really good. Um, definitely uh, with the satin leggings and whatnot, and the sculpt look didn't work, and the face looks impeccable on this one it's a very nice looking figure i love the horns as well um yeah they're a very good looking figure especially if it just catches your eye and you've got nothing in november 24 potentially worth pre-ordering and getting this one uh prism wing tokyo revengers seishi inui 1 7th by prime one studio 39,370 yen july 2025 um this one i think is pretty simple and is probably not worth the price well, it is Prime One Studio, so I thought I'd include it. Um, so uh, it looks like you get a couple of different leg parts, sort of all legs. Um, but apart from that, very simple base, um, pr relatively simple design overall. Um, but the painting looks pretty clean. The creases, sculpting looks really good overall, but not for 40,000 yen. Uh, really, I don't think so. Not for one seventh, anyways. Uh, but it's Prime One Studio, um, Prisma Wing, so they, uh, for some reason, can justify the pricing. Uh, it's a PVC ABS, so it's not even a resin figure or anything like that, so don't know. Uh, Sister Rabbit Rebel Court Scale Complex Figure DX Edition by Uloop for 11,730 yen, uh, June 2025. Um, and another one of their cheaper quarter scales, which I'm loving to see because they are offering a lot more unique designs compared to freeing bunny suits. So uh, if you're a lo quarter scale lover like me, um, you're uh, eating good in terms of price and uh, just getting at least quarter scales that are cheaper with the much more unique designs. Um, yes, they're going to be from they're going to be OCs, but I think that's fine because as I said, you get the unique design. So if it's a design you feel like a lot, like I like this one a lot as well. Um, I potentially just take a stab at it anyways because uh, yeah uh, and also I think I will be potentially getting this one anyways to at least review on the uh, channel um, to show everybody that uh, it potentially is worth getting these uh, cheaper quarter scales in um, and uh, not miss out on these from these Chinese manufacturers uh, To Love Roo Darkness from Su uh, series uh, Haruna for quarter scale by Union Creative for 38,410 yen 
um, just like the other ones that they've done from Tullaroo. Simple design, paint job looks fine, hair, sculpt, hair shading looks really good, face looks fine, um, and there's a quarter scale, 38,410 yen. January 2025, um, if you're doing this entire lineup of uh, the swimsuit versions, then uh, you, this will be an auto buy, I think, for a lot of other people. Uh, the Pothcrew Diaries, um, Mamaru Garden Party version on 7th by Wonderful Works for 19,780 yen, July 2025. Uh, painting on this one is impeccable, outstanding on the outfit, the shading is great, um, yet yeah, just a very nice looking figure. Uh, not watched the Apothecary Diaries. Uh, let me know if this is a, a good anime. I've heard good things from my uh, mate that actually does watch um, anime as well. Uh, pretty much my only friend that does watch anime. Uh, so he said Apothecary Diaries is really good. So I really should watch that. Um, but yeah, looks really good. And Wonderful Works are doing a wonderful job with this one. Uh, Spyx Family, Anya and Lloyd, 17th by Good Smile Company for 25,000 yen, uh, May 2025. This is kind of a two-in-one, although obviously Anya's uh, obviously on the smaller side, but uh, this Lloyd actually looks pretty good. Uh, definitely better than a lot of other Lloyd figures we've had in the past. Um, very simple, which is fine. Very minimal shading, but I, I think they just wanted to go for a simple, clean design when it's at Lloyd and Anya together, uh, walking the streets, coming back from some sh grocery shopping. Uh, very good looking figure uh definitely one of the better ones that i can uh i can say so very yeah very good looking figure definitely worth getting a hold of if you uh, really like spike's family and you want to get an anya and lloyd lloyd figure uh definitely as i said one better lloyd and anya looks really good as well in her outfit uh fake grand order saber ulterior pendragon uh ultra version uh by court scale by freeing for fifty five thousand yen um, so uh, this one I think looks like it's a carbon copy of the other Sabre uh, freeing quarter scale. Uh, just different colouring, uh, maybe slightly different mould. I can't remember the pose on that one. I'll put a image up, sorry, here, um, just to show uh, about that one. Uh, but yeah, I think it's very similar to that one. So I think it might just be a recolor of that design. Um, but yeah, 55,000 yen is uh, very expensive, I think, for it. Um, I think that that one is slightly different because that one's actually got some armor pieces, whereas this one hasn't. Um, this is obviously the Altair Pendragon one. Uh, probably not I th worth the price. I think it's going to bin um, after, after a release, unfortunately, like a lot of the other freeing ones have been uh, recently. recently they, I'll give it a few months and they, they go on sale. Uh, Creators Collection figure Hatsune Miku Rizuri version, 17th, by DMM Factory for 33,000 yen. Uh, definitely one of the more unique colorways in an outfit. I love the darker pinks uh, to the lighter pink con contrast. Um, the legging color as well on one leg looks really good. The hair twirls seem to always be amazing on pretty much every Hatsune Miku figure we've come across. Um, uh, the pink and green uh, blending is really well done as well. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. A very good looking one. Definitely one. Like, you can't really say it's much better than the other ones because it's down to personal price, uh, taste. There's so many Hatsumika figures um, that you just, what, if there's this one grabs you, then I'll get it. Um, 33,000 yen, I think, is not too bad for what this figure is actually uh, giving you in terms of the hair and the quantity of uh, effort that has gone into the design. Like the blues on this uh, ribbon going on here is really well done as well. So, um, very high uh, quality figure. Uh, Bunny suit planning, Playmax uh, BP-01, Sophie F. Shearing, plastic model kit version by Max Factory for 9,400 yen. This is a re-release. Uh, thank God. I was, was waiting for this one to actually get re-released. Um, I didn't know it was going to get re-released, but I have pre-ordered this one. Um, I missed out obviously on the first one. I pretty much um, consigned... Uh, yeah, consign myself to buying anything Sophia sharing or bunny suit planning, but uh, really anything bunny suit planning, I'll be trying to get a hold of everything. And um, with uh, it being by, by Nadar as well as the uh, artist, um, pretty much getting anything else that he uh, that they've made as well. Uh, so yeah, this is a very good looking. Uh, for, well, it's just something I had to get. Um, so I thought I'd pre it, saw it as being a re-release. Um, definitely worth getting hold of, I think. And it'll be my first uh, Plumax uh, figure. Um, that's going to be a plastic model kit. 
Um, he's Shin N, uh, legendary Six Sam by uh, a Yu Gi Oh card monster figure by Union Creative, 29,700 yen. Uh, January 2025. Uh, yep, yeah, like all the other Yu Gi Oh figures uh, that have been released, they is very close to source art. The coloring is really well done, uh, very shiny, which makes sense with it being a Six Sam figure. Um, or legendary six Sam uh monster so yeah very good looking figure uh definitely get, get a hold of it as it's one of the bigger um uh arc archetypes that a lot of people like uh the six Sam uh so definitely worth getting a hold of I think if you're big into six Sam uh Fumi illustration changing Ginpatsu Chan morning sky blue uh by uni creative twenty one thousand four hundred fifty yen pretty simple figure Price might be a bit high. Yeah. And Asagi Tosaka illustration select complete figure by Union Creative. 28,600 yen. So it's about 7,000 yen the other one. And this one is miles better. The colouring on the dress is amazing. I love the shading on the uh, tights as well. Uh, the staircase is just a good extra bonus. Hair shading looks impeccable. Um, this one's worth the price easily. Um, if you uh, are familiar with this IP. Uh, from the series uh, oh it's an original character uh, yeah very pretty looking figure definitely uh, if you like this uh, figure aesthetic um, then yeah definitely worth getting a hold of easily by I'd say uh, Wandering Witch The Journey of Elaine Elaine Summer Vacation Version 1 7th by Fuyu for 25,300 yen uh, again very similar to the other to the Union Creative trading on the uh, jacket and the hat are amazing um, uh, the wall is very simple, which is fine. I don't expect massive detailing with that. Her hair shading is impeccable. Uh, very nice looking figure overall. And the swimsuit and the semi-transparent shirt is just a bonus, I think. Um, I've not seen this, uh, The Wandering Witch yet. Um, but I think I've heard good things as well about this uh, anime series. And uh, I think through finally, uh, the price reflects what you're getting, I think, for this. Base is pretty simple, but the figure itself which is what you're actually wanting to have the highest attention to um has got it at least in these promos um that, again that's something you have to really probably potentially wait for people to get it in hand see if it's close to the promo uh, photos we're seeing here uh lum uniform but version by q's q for 20,380 yen um i think some people probably prefer her uh, school you girl uniform version rather than her in a, a bikini uh, so uh, yeah, not at least we're getting an option, um, and I think the price is probably about right for one seventh. Pop uh, Parade Inuyasha uh, final Inuyasha by Grismar four thousand three hundred twenty yen. It's Inuyasha in a Pop Up Parade form. Um, Pop Up Parade SP uh, made in best Dawn of the Deep Soul Bondrude by Grismar Company for ten thousand eight hundred yen. I think this is like the L series. Or similar to the L size in size at least. Um, very nice looking figure. I like the uh, the dragon tail going on. Sculpting looks really good. Um, I think probably definitely worth the ten thousand yen. Paint it's not as good as the um, actual scale figure of him, which is amazing in terms of they the way they do the actual shading with it being a very black like oval black figure. Um, uh, they've done that was really good. I think if people who missed out on that. Uh, uh, they're paying a pretty penny for that in the aftermarket, uh, but this is obviously Bob Parade, uh, so the painting's pretty much pretty sim, um, pretty simple. Uh, so they don't do much uh, on the shading, and they they distinguish the uh, obviously the outfit by uh, changing having different coloured trim on his jacket to highlight. Uh, I guess you could say the different figure aspects, um, and it looks like you can light up the head on this one like you can on the Berserk. Uh, armor as well, pop parade, um, but that doesn't include uh, the battery for this one. Uh, doesn't include the LED itself, sorry. So you actually have to get that separately and then install that yourself. Uh, pop parade bunny garden rin L size by Good Smile Company for seven thousand nine hundred twenty yen. Um, I like this sort of casino outfit uh, going on. Uh, pop parade uh, L size as well. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot, and I, I do like the uh, bunny suit casino style. It's definitely a um, uh, aesthetic I can get behind. 
I wish they do that a lot more with uh, the actual freeing bunny suits figures. Um, go for more of the casino aesthetic, really. Even though the those characters might not be in, uh, you know, in the casino attire, just makes sense. Uh, at least with this uh, design. Uh, Pop a parade, Sol Patra complete figure. By good smell, four thousand nine hundred fifty yen. Uh, sculpting on this one actually looks better than a lot of other pop, standard pop parades. Um, so that's the bonus I'd say that this has over other pop parades in the same price range. Apart from that, painting's going to be pretty basic. Uh, Azulane Reno Summer Spin-Off Complete Figure by Freeing for 24,200 yen. Uh, this is a 1 7th. Um, it is an, another Azulane figure. Uh, the seat looks like it's actually made of fabric. Um, does it include is that included a special sewn cushion so the cushion is included uh, which is i guess an extra bonus a lot of people uh, weren't expecting the detailing on it is very freeing i guess you could say it's not super detailed in terms of shading and whatnot so i think it's very freeing quality uh, for the finish unfortunately uh, depending on how, how you are uh, freeing they are doing adequate job for the paint job um, we have uh, Union, 10th uh, anniversary version by Katakawa, 8,910 yen. Um, this is amazing. The, the green shading looks really good. Overall design is amazing. Um, I think this is going to be an auto buy for a lot of people. Uh, May 2025. And then we also have Megamin as well. Uh, no, light novel 10th anniversary version by Katakawa, 8,900 yen. Um, Karakawa are doing amazing things with this, with these two figures. I think they're punching well above their um, uh, normal remit. These are closer to you know seventeen thousand yen uh, figure pricing, really. I would say, rather, but they're offering it for eight, you know, less than nine thousand yen. So uh, April two thousand twenty-five. I think I'm going to probably be pre-ordering both of these, to be honest. Um, Dark Magician. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster by Mega House for 19,800 yen, February 2025. Uh, I think one of the better Dark Magician figures we've had as well. Uh, loving the effect parts of that he's standing on. The shading looks really well done. Um, definitely, I think, definitely uh, the price is justified for this figure. Um, so get get this if you like Dark Magician and you're big into Yu-Gi-Oh! Which I am, but I'm not that much into Dark Magician. Um, Nutu Gals DX um, Sonade version 3 complete figure by Mega House, 44,000 yen. So I'm guessing this is uh, the third version. Um, this is part of their um, line where they go over the top and put the character obviously in a massive sort of effect base sort of design. So this will take up a lot of space on your shelving, um, and which justifies the price, I think, 44,000 yen. Um, so if you're massive into Naruto uh, Shibden and you like Sonade, which I do, I like to do, do like Sonade, um, 44,000 yen, uh, I think a lot of people will, will be buying this one. Uh, Macross 7 Fire Bomber Live Stage Box Complete Figure by Mega House for 39,600 yen. Um, I think this looks like it's two figures uh, in one, so you're looking at 19,000 yen per figure basically. Um, they look fine, I like the unique poses that these are going for you know the whole rock star band going on but we don't know what their bases are they've really scooted out how the base is so it comes with two bases but we don't know what they seem like um it would look like we got a glimpse of one here where it's this sort of uh white triangle thing for her her leaning back um yeah looks fine overall and i think uh worth it if you uh like them across seven um, Fire Bomber, but I've not, I'm not very familiar with. I don't know anything about this uh, anime series or IP. Uh, Lucrea Aikatsu, tenth story, Starway to the future, Ichigo Hoshimiya, um, to the bright future. Jesus Christ, but Mega House, sixteen thousand five hundred yen, uh, January twenty twenty five. Um, this one is a very simple. Um, I think the yellowing on the legs is probably a bit off-putting uh, going to the shoes. Uh, very weird way of doing the skin shading. It's very yellow. Um, yeah, I think they've gone a bit too harsh on that sh uh, shading. So I don't think this is worth 16,500 yen. I think it's closer to like a 10,000 yen figure. Uh, really overall uh, for this, for what Mega for This is subpar for Mega House, I think, unfortunately. Um, uh, Heroin Memories, uh, Kimagi Orange Road, 
uh, by Mega House for 17,380 yen, January 2025. Um, this one's a pretty simple swimsuit uh, figure. Looks fine overall, not too bad design wise. Um, probably maybe about worth the price. At least the shading, skin shading on this one is a lot better. Uh, GM series mobile suit Gundam Seed, uh, Destiny uh, Mir Campbell by Mechaus, 22,000 yen. Uh, this one looks, comes with a fur base, uh, her in some sort of nightwear, it looks like. Um, hair shading looks fine. Pretty simple pose, though, pretty simple figure. Um, don't know whether it was worth 22,000 yen. I uh, don't know what scale this is either. Uh, 90 centimeters in height, so nine centimeters in height. Um, so this is probably one eighth scale overalls are probably not worth 22,000 yen. Um, Metroid Prime Gravity Suit Samus, Aaron, uh, by first for figures for 26,730 yen. Uh, very uh, nice looking uh, game, uh, her, Samus in her armor. I like this one a lot. Um, 26,000 yen is probably worth it actually I think if especially if you're massive into your Samus um, figures I think a lot of people would want to get this and get Samus uh, in a uh, you know jumpsuit uh, as well especially if it's showing some uh, cleavage um, that would be a nice bonus but yeah this is a very nice looking figure very glossy which I think is fine uh, it's you know suit armor is power armor so yeah uh, very good looking figure and I think uh, what's the size of this one stands at 25.4 centimeters in height actually quite a large look at uh, something figure the base will obviously add a little bit to that as well in height uh, it's quite a thick base um, and now we're into the uh, adult section so the next uh, few figures we look at will, are cast offable figures um, so uh, yep just be forewarned um, these will not be linked below though in the description as um, YouTube will flag those so we've got uh, Binding Creatures Opinion Kasumi White Bunny version, uh, quarter scale, 29,700 yen. So this is the infamous reverse bunny um, figure that Binding did. Um, so I think a lot of people, uh, it, where she's in a black um, attire, um, I pre-ordered this one instantly because I do want the black one, but uh, that's insane, it's insane expensive in the aftermarket. So I'm so glad to be getting a white version as well. Uh, the of the reverse bunny so definitely worth getting hold of i think april 2025 uh, so look forward to that one coming out next year uh, then we've got uh, nonahara yuka chan illustration by shirokon by uh, one sixth by pure for twenty five thousand and eighty yen. it's a lying down made figure um uh, so i'm not going to go through the other photos at least she comes it looks like she comes with a uh Cut, uh, base, yeah, Mofu Mofu base. Um, they also do a court scale version of her for 57,200 yen, uh, which I think is it's only expensive for just an enlarged version. Um, probably not worth the price increase, I think, for the court scale, really, overall, uh, especially with her lying down. She should take up a lot of space, anyways, on your shelf. Um, and you'd need to have uh, this inclined if you actually want to visually see and um, uh, enjoy the figure. And then we've got a Matara original illustration, Blue Nurse Bunny, 1 6th, by Pink Cap for 29,800 yen. Uh, I like this uh, design, I like this sort of hybridization of the nurse and uh, bunny suit figure. So, this is the original art, but she does get come in included, and this is obviously her non cast off um, in the art as well. Um, so, yeah, very nice looking figure, uh, potentially worth getting a hold of. February 2025. Um, I do like it a lot. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting a hold of this one though um, to review, but the paint job looks immaculate. Um, it being cast off is just a big good bonus. So I think a lot of people will definitely like getting this uh, hold of this figure. Um, just to make you aware, we'll go back to a safe image. Uh, nice sort of false lander. So uh, that does it for this video. Again, links for these will be in the description down below. If you can comment, like, or subscribe. Um, I just started including obviously the adult series, uh, adult figures now anyways into this since Army Army do do them and they've started getting binding figures which I think is worth at least covering those uh, just to keep so people make people aware about the binding figures uh, mainly because their binding core skills are definitely worth it uh, over freeing ones really um, but yeah um, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, please comment like and subscribe and I shall catch you in another video thanks bye